from this to this. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on my high-tech YouTube studio. What's up guys, Matty B here and welcome to No Going Back. We're gonna do a bit of a different video today and I'm just gonna show you what my setup's like. My high-tech YouTube studio. The reality is, it isn't that high-tech. In actual fact, this isn't even my place. This is an Airbnb in Brisbane that we've been staying at for the last two weeks. You see, I travel a lot. So, at the moment, I haven't really had a proper studio in about, I wanna say 12 months. So I've been having to make do with whatever I can. But how about we go for a walkthrough and I show you what I've done. Okay, so first things first, the key to any good studio is a good background. Here I've got a fake brick, I don't know, it's like some sort of fabric that I got off eBay, I think it was really, really cheap, and I've just hung it to a hook on the wall where a picture frame used to be. Because it's an Airbnb, I can't really stick anything to the wall for fear of damaging it. So that was the first step, was getting up a nice backdrop to just break it off that really ugly white wall. Then in order to break up the background a little bit, I looked for whatever I could use to add a little bit of set dressing. So I ended up finding a bedside table, but unfortunately it wasn't quite high enough for my shot. So I put it on top of a chair and then put a couple of little fake plants on top with a lamp I had on me. And then on the other side, I hung another fake plant from the stand just to give a little bit of interest into the background and sort of break up the, the fake brick. The next step was lighting the background. All I used for this was the practical lamp I had on the little bedside table and also a small little LED panel just down the bottom to give a little bit of light into that fake brick backdrop. After that, I had to light myself, so I popped off the background. For that, I like to use a hair light or a kicker. And for that, I had another little LED panel that I mounted to the top above the fake brick, so it would give me a nice bit of separation off that background. After that, it was a simple case of chucking a big LED light as a key light. For audio, I just ran a shotgun microphone straight into the camera. In these small spaces, getting separation from the background is so important. It helps to create that shallow depth of field and give a bit more dimension to the shot. So for that, I set up the couch that was a bit off the fake brick wall, but then got the camera as far away into the corner as I could, then framed up the shot to get out anything I didn't want to see. I also made use of the TV in the room and used that as a giant reference monitor, so I could see where I was in the shot and adjust my framing for each time I sat in front of the camera. So there you have my traveling YouTube studio. As you can see behind the scenes, it's a lot less glamorous than it looks on the actual shot, but it does do the trick. And it takes the shot from this to this. So there you have it guys. That's behind the scenes of my YouTube studio. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I'm Maddie B and be kind to one another.